What's up, y'all? Today we're going to create some content for our virtual styling for my website on products. So I use this website to create content, which you can see in the previous videos. So as you see, I'm going to look to try to find a look. So I added some cute leggings that we have coming up on Winterland. And typically, you know, I just go with the flow. <laughs> I see if there's anything that I like and then you'll see me erase and come back because I'll add something and I'm just like, I can't find anything to match with this. So like literally, as you can see, I'm searching for um, a black top. I wanted a crop I was thinking would be really cute. These leggings are kind of like a see-through kind of material. So I was like, okay, cool. Like this little crop will be so cute but I didn't like how um it looked like the shape of it so I was like well let me keep searching see what I can find um as you can see it's really easy to you know modify so I was gonna add some purses and you'll see what I mean when I say I went back and I was like no it wasn't giving what I wanted it to but guys this is all about figuring out what it is that you want, right? So as you can see, I erased that and I started over. So I went ahead to some of my previously liked items. I found this really, really cute puffer coat. It is mad cute. I love it. And so as you can see, I went ahead and added that, took away the background. And there's an actual tutorial. I just wanted to show how I style kind of my method. Um, in terms of like what to, you know items to put with what but you know I love a black biker so I decided to match this black biker short from Winterland with the puffer and I moved that back and like I said previously guys you can style and put them in whatever placement that you would like don't forget to add a watermark in a place that someone can't take it off I can't tell you how many times I've seen styles be posted and they got rid of the my watermark but took the style and the look, yeah, it sucks, but it is what it is. Um, so make sure you add a watermark there. Um, so I wanted a black boot. I was thinking a high over the knee black boot with this jacket. Um, and I think, you know, it was gonna look cute. So you always wanna search for more items. Um, and these are, uh, oh, sorry, these are <laughs> boots that were posted previously. So I was just trying to find the best one. And I thought these babies were everything. Because you see the little cute on the heel, like the little stones. I thought that was mad cute. And it just really gave an all black look, a pop, along with that belt on the puffer jacket. So as you can see, I was trying to get rid of, there was like a black line. You can't really see it. But I went ahead and cropped it out. Yeah, you can see it there. I went ahead and cropped it out so I can get rid of that. And I saved it. And I just thought this was really cute. So I was like, girl, you got you a look for the... And so I use this on Instagram and you can do like a voting. You can add like different shoes or different accessories or do like one look different ways to create some content for your website or your Instagram um on your story stuff like that so that's what i am gonna use this one for and what else was i looking for i don't know oh, okay so just a black purse and this black purse was from the fashion files so literally an all black everything look with some accessories not even accessories y'all like literally the belt is an accessory and I wanted to add a choker. So yeah, I guess I did go get some accessories, girl. You guys, oh, <laughs> I really love all black. Like I was speaking to my friends about having my entire closet, all black, everything. And I'm still considering it. So as you can see with the choker, I positioned it at the top, but I felt like it was just too much going on up there for the image. So after doing that, I'm like, eh, I don't think it's going to work there. So I just placed it over to the side, but you still get the concept, right? Like it's a choker. It might look like a bracelet, but yeah. So I went ahead and saved my design. And of course you always have to put your title. Um, and then I selected events that it would be appropriate for. So I did weekend, night out and date night. 
and I will wear that every day honestly if I'm just in the mood I will get up and wear that and then I did the winter for the season and as you can see it saved this bomb look so, so like I tell the girls that you know I really love creating content ahead of time um, it doesn't always work that way sometimes things just come off the fly but if you have a business or really anything right like if you're an influencer doing your content creation ahead of time is typically the you know move it's typically what is done um so i love using canva to create looks as everyone knows this is my primary um go-to for styling and um as i've said previously you know i just save images i upload my own um and it's just really a really good i think way to have a canvas and kind of just create whatever's on your mind um so i was doing another look just to save and post like i said so i did this jumpsuit that we have coming to winterland this fall and it is so cute i think but i really like i said it's all about trial and error what you see what you like and what you don't so i went ahead and added this purse and I was like, okay, I guess, right? I mean, it matched with the nude in the jumper. But again, I just wasn't feeling it. And this happens often, y'all. So I went ahead and deleted it. <laughs> and yeah. Okay, so now I wanted to share how I create content on Canva which is a website I pay for my Canva. I really wanted to focus on color palettes for both of my brands, just as a introduction to what to expect this fall and then also a planning guide for me, right? So as you can see, I have a blank sheet where I added boxes and I'm going to try to find colors that I want to feature this fall for my website. Um, and I use this as content for content creation. I put it on my story and I want the girls to vote. So as you can see, I was looking for a, a mustard tone. Um, I also have a sage green, which I love. It's also called olive branch. And I actually already have items, these colors. Um, and then I'm also going to build, you know, the inventory around these as well. So I got rid of the olive uh, <laughs> olive branch and I was trying to find the right color so literally guys I just go off of the fly um this is really just off of my mind of like okay what I think I'd like to feature that this season I really wanted like a nice navy a nice blue so as you can see I have a mauve on mustard which is hiding behind the um pop up on the screen and then a blue and I had a rust there and so I was trying to find a brown I believe yep I was trying to find a brownish gray so there you can see that and this is actually the second palette I believe so I'm modifying yep I'm modifying the colors um the name the title there but as you can see it has fall 2022 winterland boutique color palette number two I went ahead and duplicated that and when you I, so okay I pay for Canva but you don't have to to get like greatness out of it and as you can see I went ahead to edit the colors and I don't know I know I did it for Winterland and then I've also did it for the fashion files which if you don't know is my accessory line it's an extension of winterland boutique but we went ahead and separated the accessories so there you'll be able to find bags and jewelry and loveliness okay so i went ahead and added some colors to this palette i believe this one was for the fashion files guys can't really remember off the top of my head let's see so we have a really really pretty blue it does have some gray in there then we have an actual gray and a pumpkin kind of spice color which i think is really really pretty and one thing you see as the colors are moving you can see on there it has the different code for the color if you have a business and you want your colors to remain consistent you can always keep that code and you can provide it to the whoever's doing your website or just for content creation in general you see how it um, has document colors 
you see that it has like the um, actual code for it that's something that's really good to have because that means that you know whatever platform whatever you're using you can make sure all of your colors remain the same um, and I love that so I was looking for a dark brown or a rust um, color and let's see did I modify that blue oh no okay I was like wait <laughs> that blue was cute girl yeah so it just took some time for me to see exactly what I wanted um, but I think a color palette is just like a really innovative way to just show like what to expect this coming season and one thing I was looking at anything on Canva as you can see you can go to uploads that you've had previously yep this one was for the fashion files so I went ahead and I added the um, fashion files logo in the corner as you see there's like recently used anything you've used previously can stay there once you have your account so I went ahead and positioned the fashion files palette to where I wanted it I think these colors are really really cute for the fall we have a lighter variation and then obviously we go into a brown and a gray tone I was just seeing if there's anything I wanted to post or add to the image and I think like this is just a really innovative way to just interact with your clients right see what they're looking for what colors do they want right for this season um, and then it also is like I said a planning tool for me to say okay this color I'm focusing on this week and stuff like that when I'm actually purchasing inventory if you are a business owner and you don't purchase your own inventory you can also use a color palette as a way to direct your staff on you know what colors you would like to see um, featured um, your buyer can reference it uh, I have one for fashion files which has a ton of different colors as just a you know reference and I think it's really really important there are arrows and stuff like that I chose to actually leave this document pretty plain and then add what I wanted straight on um, my Instagram story but of course if you want you can always save it as a file where these would be animated and you can actually do so much on Canva this is just scratching the surface and just kind of something that I chose to do but yeah so I let me see what else did I do I think that was it I mean I just kind of played around with these had different palettes I had different palettes for fashion files and then Winterland Boutique and I'm using them as a reference I hope this create this creation and kind of like information helps someone who is working on their brand or want kind of some tips of just ways to engage customers and even just planning for your inventory all right y'all until next time